I remember we were driving back from a surf one day and we were staring out the window at the gray and pouring rain and we joked that this would be great weather for touring the coast of Haida Gwaii. By bike with surfboards in November. My name is Kevin, and alongside my longtime adventuring partner Joel, we looped Graham Island in Haida Gwaii by Fat Bike in search of new experiences and some great waves. I think everyone should take the time to get away. We all get caught up in our lives, in our work, in the city. We kind of forget to take a step back and put it all in perspective. Haida Gwaii can give that to you in a hurry. Once you're off the highway, you're completely disconnected. You're at the mercy of the wind and the tides, and you get to experience nature in a way that really deepens your appreciation. We're both passionate about riding. You don't pedal a 50 pound bike with four inch tires and a trailer full of supplies to be off the grid for two weeks without a love for time in the saddle. You! Oh! You mother <laughs> the right gear helps. It's actually an absolute necessity. It's true what they say. There's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. We had all the gear we needed to survive for two weeks in some of the most unforgiving conditions the West Coast can offer. Yeah. <laughs> we made a point of riding as much of the coastline as we could. With rideable beach in excess of 100 kilometers on the coastline of Graham Island, the fat bikes made it possible to ride the entire way from Tow Hill to Tallel with the ocean right beside us. The wind was a major factor. You haven't lived until you've had a 110 kilometer an hour wind tearing your tent apart in the middle of the night. That feeling you get when you see the beach stretching out behind you, knowing the distance you've covered and how big the island really is, it's pretty awe-inspiring. When you escape like this, when you throw yourself into an adventure and go totally self-sufficient, it changes how you approach things moving forward. You return to your everyday life invigorated, and all those hurdles in front of you suddenly look that much smaller. There's really no other way to experience the wild like this. With so much of our coastline bearing the imprint of human influence and a changing climate, we wanted this trip to be fully self-sufficient. Apart from the ferry that took us up from Vancouver Island to Haida Gwaii, our goal was to tackle this adventure under our own power. And it truly heightened the experience. 